No, I do not have any of the uh, uh, players list, but they are announcing now the starters for the Culver Cavaliers. Sorry about that, our other headset was uh, next to one of the player's parents. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, I don't know much about volleyball. My girls uh, ended up playing soccer, basketball, and softball. Uh, so we will do the best we can. Normally I'm up here with uh, Amy Stone. However, though, there is a lot going on here at the Argus School System tonight. We have junior high volleyball going on. We have a junior high soccer tournament going on. And that's where Amy is at. And uh, she'll probably be joining us later. And then, of course, the for the main event, we have the varsity volleyball game uh, with the Culver Cavaliers against the Argus Dragons here. Culver starts off right away with scoring the first point. Argus is doing a player change. Argus is doing another player, quick player change. After watching the JV games, 
I got a feeling this is going to be a good competition game tonight. Argus has taken the lead now, three to two. That's Samantha Rose that's doing the uh, serving right now. You know, last week uh, when we broadcasted last week's game, the Argus was down and, and she came up to serve and served like 12 points in a row. Got called for the double hit there. Hands weren't lined up perfectly, so it went off of one hand and the other before it went over. As I said earlier, I'll be joined later by Amy Stone, who's out at the soccer field right now, but uh, she texted me and said it was pouring down there, and I told her I was at a comfortable 72 degrees. Can't see the sun, but the lights are bright and we're high and dry. <laughs> Is called for the double hit again. Just that quick, Culver was down by four, and they are on their way to try to tie this thing up. And they've done it. little late communication there. I think the, the Argus girl was set and ready to go before the, and was ready to make contact when at the last second somebody said it was out.
Ball landed right on the line. Argus has called for a timeout. We're going to go take a quick commercial and be right back. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And we're back. It's been a lot of back and forth here. Now Argus ran it for a little while, and, and then Culver came back, and now they are on their way to uh, take control and let them know that they're not down and out. Culver is up by four, and they are not looking to turn back. Just had somebody text me and tell me that they couldn't hear me, but that's my whole game plan. <laughs> Since I uh, don't know volleyball that well. <laughs> that way, if you can't hear me, you can't tell that I'm messing up. Culver is on a roll here. Scored five straight. Little miscommunication there between uh, McKenzie Cox and uh, McKenna, Bur uh, McKenna Lineberry.
Nice save by Culver there. And they've got a good volley going on. With Culver coming out on top of that one. Kinsey Cock got called for being under the net when she went up to hit that. Culver called for the double hit. Both Argus and Culver have player changes going on. They're going in. Dig there by Argus and just could not finish it. Culver again is on a roll. And Argus is called for another timeout. We're going to take another commercial, quick commercial break, and we will be back here shortly. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool on the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Steve Moore Agency has been proudly providing comprehensive insurance solutions all across Indiana since 19... We're back. Culver up 22 to 11. Samantha Rose getting ready to go and serve again.
Okay, Argus just scored four in a row. Starting to chip away at the lead that Culver has built. Tried to dig that one out and uh, went off the arm. Now it's out in the hallway. Must have went a long ways down the hallway. <laughs> Apparently, any time that the ball goes out of uh, the court area, the playing area, they have to swap out the ball. Should be game point here for Culver. And it is. First game goes to Culver, 25 to 16. Now normally, if I remember correctly, uh, they usually change sides of the court in between each game, but I believe due to 2020, due to our current situation with Corona, uh, they are not doing that now this year. So we're gonna go ahead and take a quick commercial break and uh, we will be back in a few minutes. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in need of trash removal at an exceptional price? Let Mike's Trash Removal Service be your go-to for all your trash removal needs. Mike's Trash Removal covers several different services of waste removal, including residential and commercial area services. Locally owned and locally operated, call today to see what Mike's Trash Removal can do for you at 574-223-6429. Inyard's True Value has everything you need to get your next project done. Located on Main Street in Rochester, Inyard's True Value has the product to get the job done. From tools and supplies to kitchen appliances, Inyard's True Value has got you covered. Call 574-223-4920 or visit www.truevaluecompany.com. Okay, we're back. There was a minute left in the uh, time in between games, but uh, both teams got on the court and they're ready to play the next game.
I think Mackenzie Cox wasn't wasn't expecting that one and actually went for a defensive move to protect herself. <laughs> Four hits on Culver. Culver not playing around. They are starting this game the same way that they finished it. They are on a roll. Over again on another roll as they switch out volleyballs since it uh, the ball left the play area. Double hit called on Culver. I was looking down to, to see what they're doing with the volleyball when it leaves the play area. And looks like they're spraying some disinfectant on it and wiping it down and getting it clean, ready to go back into play.
Double hit again. From up here, it doesn't look like that the, uh, it looks like it's being hit at the same time, but uh, down there, it must be just at the right angle to, that they're able to catch that. Argus doing a quick player change. Here is all over that back row over there. Culver finally was able to get one dropped into the back row where she wasn't at. Culver calls for a timeout. If you have nothing to do on Saturday night, uh, Argus is having a Oktoberfest over in the park. I know that there's uh, going to be a movie uh, played on sometime that night. Uh, there's going to be a bonfire. I believe there's going to be some music going on, uh, hay rides going on. Uh, that time all starts at about 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh, so if you have nothing going on, come on over to Argus there at the park there. Or out there by McDonald's and uh, have a good time. Probably would have been out, but Culver went ahead and reached out and hit it. Nice little loft over the net. Right into the, the face of the Argus player there. She wasn't sure she wanted to bump it or, or I'm not sure what the other, the other way is called. <laughs> Double hit, yep. I know next week's action, we have uh, sectionals for the boys and girls soccer. The Argus boys play Monday night. The Argus girls play Tuesday night up in LaVille. I'm not sure when the Culver boys or girls play. I actually, I do know when Culver girls play. Uh, they play Tuesday night up at LaVille against Argus. And a block there by Sierra, right back down into the Culver, Culver area. And with that, Argus is now down by one.
Ball again went out of the playing area, so they're swapping it out. Not sure what that call was on. Swapping the ball out again. Paul was just barely tapping it over the, the net. Right at about the uh, forearms, so that way they couldn't get their hands on it. Good volley there and just a little bit outside. Argus taking a quick timeout. Again, if you're not doing anything on Saturday night, five o'clock, the uh, Argus is having an Oktoberfest out at Community Park out there by McDonald's. Uh, there will be uh, a movie night. Uh, from what I'm understanding, there's going to be a cornhole tournament, um, hay rides, bonfire, uh, starting at five o'clock, all around uh, fun for everybody. Sierra thought she had the point, but the referees are calling her in the net.
think she stepped on the line or stepped over the line when she went to hit her serve on that one. Argus doing a couple more player changes. Nine judge calls it in. That's probably one of the most difficult jobs right there, especially when you're uh, uh, having to be the line judge and you're on the same team that's playing, having to make those calls. And we are game point Culver. Uh, set. <laughs> so right now Culver is up two sets to zero. I'm getting a little bit of an education. I keep calling them games, but they are sets. Um, and then, uh, and then the, when they win three out of the five sets, then it's a match. They win the match. So we, I keep calling it a game just because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> Well, we're going to go ahead and go to a couple of commercials, and we will be back here shortly. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate. Steve Moore Agency has been proudly providing comprehensive insurance solutions all across Indiana since 1974. Whatever your insurance needs are, Steve Moore Agency will create customized insurance solutions to guarantee complete protection of all your assets at an affordable price. Call now at 574-223-3010 to see what Steve Moore Agency can do for you. The lawyers and staff at Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service for their clients, presently and for the future. From estate planning and trust, to adoption and family law, to appeals, probate, and more, Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins has the knowledge and experience to serve you now and in the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open up a... Okay, both teams are ready to go. Culver is up two sets to zero. And they will be looking to get tonight over in three.
Okay, for the first time tonight, uh, Argus has uh, won the first point. Sierra slams it right down into the shoulder of the Culver player there. And Culver comes right back with one of their own. Two serves right into the short side of the backfield. With the Argus players looking at each other. Culver's on a roll again. I'm not 100% sure on what that was, what happened there. I'm not 100% sure what happened there either. It just kind of looked like the ball was hit and everybody didn't want to touch it. server that uh, Culver has up right now is on a roll. I think we're at least a seven straight in a row. Finally, he says, we've had enough. Bring that ball back on our side. Culver having a player change.
And a swing and a miss. It's one of the most frustrating things when you sit there and you just think to yourself, you're really going to bring up that, that uh, hand of that ball and get your timing all off, and you just barely deflect it. Called for the double hit there. Nice dig there, and oh, was not able to finish. Culver having a player change. Looks like Samantha Rose got hit on both ends. Went down on the ground and her chin hit the floor and the ball hit her right in the forehead. Nice. Ball was way outside of bounds and was able to bring it back in for uh, Sierra to put it right over into the middle of the court. and they put it out. I'm being joined now by Amy Stone. Good evening. I'm assuming now that the... Uh, Soccer games either almost over. Or uh, it was said. almost halftime for almost junior half high time? girls. Yeah, and with the rain out there, um, pretty much anyone who's coming in was in. <laughs> <laughs> girls, I don't know. I don't know what their score was. Boys won 3-0. That's why it's a nice, easy, comfortable 72 degrees in here. It is nice and warm in here. I'm enjoying it. I was warm out. I mean, I wasn't cold out there. Uh, the junior JV boys soccer team over at the academy lost 1-0. The varsity team is was down at halftime 1-0. Oh, nice save there by Sammy Ferguson. I'm glad you know their names because I was, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Argus I know girl. Argus. I, yeah, I can help you. 
Oh, I just got an update on the boys varsity game. Um, boys varsity is now tied. Both Culver and Argus are having player changes going on. This is the third set. Okay. Shoot. Sorry, I'm getting texts from updates. <laughs> It's been it's been pretty much back and forth, but then uh, um, uh, it looks like I think number 25 on the Culver side will be. Uh, I th oh no, she'll be she'll be serving next. And the last time she served, she served 11 in a row. <laughs> wow, that might be a little much, but uh, it was it was up there. She can just stop that right now. <laughs> <laughs> just stop that. No, that's great. That's awesome. I have figured out, I didn't ask, but I have figured out that any time that the ball looks like goes into the crowd or out in the hallway or up on the stage, out of the playing area, they got to bring it over here and they got to give it a scrubbing and wipe it down. Okay. Awesome. Oh, she had a little fake up there. I thought she was going to set it, and then she spiked it. Good job. Um. Oh, I know. Oh, out. Just a little too much on that one. Just a little too much. Too much pepper, or is that mustard? Mustard, pepper. I call it stank. Stank. <laughs> <laughs> However, though, Sierra's been taking a beating back there in the back row. She's been all over, laying out for everything. Doing a lot of digs, a lot of saves. Yeah. Congratulations to all the seniors out there. I'm sorry I missed that. I think we had, what, six or seven? Good. It's always nice to ooh, recognize our seniors. I know usually you do the reading for all the senior <laughs> nights, but... Uh, I'm it, sure you did a wonderful job. I was uh, trying to operate the camera, flip the paper, and <laughs> read all at the same time. <laughs> that would be difficult. A little miscommunication there. Nice job there by Sierra. Oh, they gave it the double hit. Okay. You know what the double hit is? Mm -mm. That's when they go up, they got their hands side by side, and, and both off. of them hit it. Yeah, their their ones off, so then the ball hits the first hand and the then, second and hand, then and then the second hand a little okay. bit later. Same girl, I get you. I don't know if that's the actual terminology for it, but that's the terminology I gave um, it tonight. <laughs> well. Phil, you and I are still on volleyball for dummies, so that was a very <laughs> dumbed down for me. And thank you for putting up with it, people out there. Um, d description of that, and I appreciate that. Well, I was even, I was even giving you the visual. I know, I got the <laughs> visual and everything. This is game point for Culver. They, if they can get this one, and they've got it. Now. We'll be back in action Saturday night, be 5 o'clock. Yep. Actually, 4.45 senior night starts. I didn't get to tell you that. Uh, 4.45 senior night starts for Argus Boys Soccer out at Eugene Snyder Field. We'll have the senior night. And then the um, conference game, uh, right now the boys are playing the academy, Culver Academy. Um, it's usually in the, at least the old Northern Indiana Soccer Conference, um, Culver and Argus and Bethany that probably are in that top three. 
Um, and Argus plays Culver tonight and Bethany Saturday. So that Saturday game will really be, we'll see. I don't know. We've won the right. conference the last couple years. So uh, we look forward to seeing you then from Phil Dean and Amy Stone tonight. Steve Stricker is our, is our tech. Um, and I know he's, I don't know if he's at home or if he's down in Rochester. He was texting me a little bit ago, and he was trying to get Kasten's game up and going. So I want to thank him for helping us out, getting it all situated. Yeah, and we're, and we're still trying to figure out our sectional soccer action next week. Um, soccer sectionals begin next week. Volleyball, I believe, is if I saw, was the week after. Um, so I know that the boys, the boys start on Monday night. And the girls are on Tuesday. Boys are at Argus. Girls will be up at LaVille at Newton Park. So we'll try and get playing some coverage. Culver. Playing Culver, yes, so is what both, I... Both teams tonight, both schools tonight, will be playing Tuesday night. We're trying to, if we can't stream it live, they don't have internet up there, we are going to try to um, bring that to you later. We'll, we'll record it and we'll upload it later. So at least you could catch the game. I mean, you may know the score, but then you can kind of see the action behind it. So. See, what, see what's going on. Yeah. How did they score that? <laughs> you know, how did they win? How did they lose? Yeah. <laughs> So those teams, those two teams did not see each other in uh, regular season play this year. So that will, I, I, if if we don't record it, I'm going anyway because I want to watch the game. <laughs> you want to see what's going on, even if it's cold, I'm going. But uh, yeah, I want to catch that game. So that'll be exciting. All right. Well, everybody out there, have a good night. Try to stay dry. Is it still raining out there? Mm, just just spitting, and but it's it's awful chilly. I wish I had some soup at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, have a good night, and we will catch you at the next game. See you Saturday.